Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Lakes BMW. Today we have this 318D Sport Touring. This car is finished off in mineral grey metallic and is a January 2018 registered vehicle. Only three main options selected on this vehicle over the standard specification. So let me highlight that and obviously some of the standard options that comes with this F31 3 Series. On the front of the car, we have the full LED headlights. That's both the main beam, dip beam, and you can see the chrono rings there as the daylight running lights. Moving around the vehicle, this car's on the 17 inch double spoke alloy wheel, which is to finish in that gloss silver. Moving around the side, one of the options is the metallic paint finish to this mineral grey. On the 3 Series, beautiful colour and really does suit the shape of the 3 Series to extremely well. Power tailgate as standard on this generation of 3 Series Touring. It's pulled operated there by, by the key. It's also a button underneath the roundel badge and a button by the driver's door. A couple of different motions with the load cover. You can just slide it about the way like so. If you need to get a larger item in, you can fully unhook it so it rolls up. And there's also a net here as well, which you can pull up, which ties into the roof. And if you've got any larger items, you want to stop them from falling through the main part of the cabin, you can do so with that. In terms of load covers, they've also got some handy stowaway sections as well. So you can stow away the load cover underneath there. If you've got any larger items to pit through, or you just want that out of the way, and lift up the cargo net to stop items from going through to the car in the main cabin. Extra nice big storage deep bin there as well. Plenty of handy tie down points, straps, handy flick out hooks as well for keeping bags and stuff held in place. On the left also is a nice uh, 12 volt socket as well. Just an additional hook and obviously got the first aid kit behind here, this compartment here, and the toolkit. One of the great features on the 3 Series Touring. Got a split folding operation to this tailgate. And you can actually also do a little bit underneath here and open the glass section as well. So any sort of tight, sort of confined spaces you need to get into the boot, you can just do so via that. And this needs to drop an item in, pick something out. You can obviously have the load cover in or out of the way. Real handy little feature that. Moving into the back of the car, we've got the anthracite cloth corner finish, some nice grey contrast stitching. We've also got the gloss black trim piece finish there on the main door handle, and that nice red finisher as well, that sort of matte anodized red finisher on the door card. That's also finished on the dashboard as well to tie nicely. Rear passengers also has some ventilation, heating, and airflow controls there. Into the front of the car. You see that red finisher again on the front door. There's the way the electric window controls, electric mirror controls there. It's a heated and electric adjustable. In the sport model, we've got a fantastic sport seats as well. Loads of adjustment, leg support, tilt support. Got side bolster support here in these compartments uh, with basic airbags, you can adjust those. Same on the front passenger seat as well. Stepping into the car. Well, lovely red stitching as well around the in inner part of the steering wheel. Ties in very nicely with the red finisher as well in the door cards and the center section of the dashboard. Standing the car up. It's got the LCD panel there at the bottom, you get even investments of information. Trip information there, which you can toggle through on the left hand side on the indicator stock. Moving over to the central display, got the BMW 
ID6 system. So we've got these six tiles, and they're called live tiles. So these can be sort of changed and altered to give information that is relevant to you you want to see. And there's always working behind the scenes. So we're watching that on the main navigation system now, but that will be working behind the scenes, whether it's just an overview. We have got a destination plugged in, so it can be working in the background. At any point, you can click through to reveal the bigger map. You see where you are, see where you're going. Also, built in real time traffic information as well, this system. Full Bluetooth connectivity for your mobile device, as well as music. Obviously, digital radio with the FM and AM CD player and a USB point as well in the central armrest for connecting any sort of hard drive or mobile devices as well. Ventilation controls, we've also got the audio controls there, CD player, favourite buttons, the 1 to 8 presets so you can save anything on the iDrive system from satellite navigational information, addresses for instance, or mobile phone numbers, any of the menus on the iDrive system. You can save any one of these buttons so it's a quick access to any of the systems on that sys on the iDrive system. Dual zone climate control, the standard. This has also got the heated front seat option, second option on this vehicle, the free. Free way heated front seats for both front passengers. Moving down, a fabulous six speed manual gearbox linked with the 1.8D engine, so the 2 litre diesel engine. It's the turbocharged four cylinder. Obviously, very much tried and tested behind the BI drive dial there. Also, well, got the voice activation, so you can just talk to the car, get to navigate to certain places, or use the iDrive dial to control that system. With well, different driving modes there, from starting in comfort, we've got Sport and Sport Plus, as well as Eco Pro for more economical driving. And the third and final option is we've got the full. Advanced parking package, so that gives you a put the car in reverse. Front rear parking sensors, almost a complete surround view, which I'll show you in a second, along with that reversing camera there on the right hand side. Gives you guidelines and mar mark uh, ops marking obstacles as well. If I just turn the sensors, you'll almost have a sort of full 360 degree view of sensors all the way around the vehicle, and that also ties in with the park assist functionality. So that's where the car can help you parallel park by finding spaces big enough for the vehicle. Just moving over the steering wheel, so you've got the cruise control, speed limit control here on the left hand side. All the audio options here, volume control, media options, finance ring on the right. Obviously automatic lights there, down on the right with the automatic wipers. They work in conjunction together as well, really nice system. So if you've got the automatic wipers on, if it starts raining, the car will understand about road spray. So it'll actually turn on the lights as well, just to give you better. So people can see you easier in those poor light conditions. So you see this car's got 23,924 miles on the clock. As I mentioned it is a January 2018 registered vehicle and it's been a 200 vehicle and we sleep hard exchange with us. Hope this video has been of use if there's any further information you need please do get in contact one of our sales executives will be more than happy to help